Hi, I'm Anna Middleton and I'm Head of Society and Ethics Research at the Wellcome Genome Campus in Cambridge. I'm also a genetic counsellor and I'm very interested in the informed consent process. So if I'm understanding you right, there's a, there's a consent form that you're happy to share now. It was reviewed by four people and there was a conversation that lasted about 10 minutes with the patients. Um, given that we know, particularly in the UK, that the average reading age of the general public is around age 10 and that the vast majority of the public don't understand what the word genome is, I'm quite interested in what happened in that conversation and how you explained what the risks were and what evidence you have that they actually understood. Okay, so, yeah, I can describe that. First, uh, I don't know if uh, Kyo corrected your signal of 10 minutes, and it's correct, it's one hour and 10 minutes one for this hour and couple. 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, so what happens, it's in a conference room with uh, these couples, me and two observers. And uh, the inferred print copies was given to the couple before uh, the inferred consent. Do you know that they could read them? Did you know that they could read them and understand them? I think yeah, that. Did, did you know that they could read okay and understand what you were saying? Yeah, they are very educated. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yes, so and then, uh, so each of take this uh, inferring consent. I explain from page one to page twenty, line by line, paragraph by paragraph, and uh, and they have the right to ask any questions during this inferring consent. They get and. Uh, uh, so, the, yeah, once the, we go through the entire uh, inferring consent at the end, uh, I leave them uh, to private discussion. So you have uh, freedom and time to discuss uh, the couples, uh, and also they have the choice to decide uh, today, or you can take it home and decide uh, later. So were any of the team actually trained in taking consent? Or was this the first time you'd actually had conversations about this? I'll start to get were, were any of the team that took the consent, were they trained in were the process of dealing with consent yeah. issues? Were they trained at doing what they were asked to do? Uh, so, okay, so as I said, I have two rounds of uh, different consent. The first round is a team member. It's a post, I mean, have the, it's, a kind of, it's informal. It's just informal conservation uh, for two hours to talk to this person to explain. The second one is the formal ones. It's I personally ex explain that. So uh, I, I do I read the guidelines from the NIH on the inferred consent, even, be, even when we drafted the inferred consent. Okay, thank you.